Okay, so this is a, a little bit of an older project, as you'll see from the shop and some of the tools. This project, um, I uploaded a video for it, but I had a uh, copyright claim on it. So I figured I was edit it a little bit and re-upload it. So this project is a chest I'm building for a client uh, probably about a year ago. And um, I'm just using um, pine, plywood, and poplar for this. So I'm just going to be using uh, glue, brad nails, screws to build the carcass here. Obviously, I first cut the, the plywood up with a, a circular saw and a, and a straight edge. Uh, don't have a track saw at, at this point. So I'm going to just assemble this a box and I'm going to keep this video kind of simple uh, some of the quality is not that great um, but it gives you a general idea how to build this this chest with all with the uh, closing door uh, with hinges um, some of the video is not perfect but you'll get the general idea it's, it's pretty basic uh, trying to comp complicate it but I also uh, created my own uh, I guess trim we'll call it uh, and molding for the, for the trim and um, Use multiple tools, um, miter saw, table saw, circular saw, pocket metal jig, uh, brad nailers, screws, you know, with, with drills, uh, countersink, um, impacts, clamps, um, planer is very good to have, and um, obviously glue and measuring devices, uh, along with the air compressor if your brad nailer is, is not um, battery power. So this is how I'm going to do this project. Um, I'm going to just kind of be quiet here and let the video play. So you can see here I'm installing this trim. This trim is poplar and also I um, milled this up with the top. Uh, I didn't video all that process so uh, when I, I just um, mill it up all together, the top, the trim, side pieces, and also some of the molding you'll, you'll see later uh, that I'll be using a router table and a miter saw for it to cut a 45 degrees. So that's this. Now I'm just going to put the base and that will be a 2x3 uh, lumber here. And I'll just go with, uh, use the miter saw. I don't have to do much milling with the, for this. I'm going to use pocket holes and uh, screws for this. see here I'm jumping around a little bit in this video so now I didn't show uh, the laminate the top here but this is the proper top that is coming out of clamps and now we're going to uh, do a little hand planing and sanding get it ready for um, the paint this is all going to be painted white uh, everything so I'm just getting preparing it now uh, I apologize for not videoing that part so now I'm just going to clean up some of this trim um, and get ready to do the finishing touches on this
finishing some sanding and also going to run a chamfer on the edges at the top. So here I'm going to take some of this extra poplar hat that I just milled up and I'm going to be uh, using a router table and cutting a little bull head type ogle into each piece, which is very dangerous. I didn't film all that since the wood was kind of thin. Uh, and then I'm just going to use the miter saw to cut 45 degree angles, use some glue and brass to put in place. Thank you. 